Perito Moreno Glacier, a moving landscape. Perito Moreno Glacier, a moving landscape. Perito Moreno Glacier is a breathtakingly beautiful wonder of nature that draws visitors from around the world to Argentina's Patagonia region. Located in the Los Glaciares National Park, the glacier is one of the few in the world that is still advancing, with the ice despite the numerous modifications that the Earth's natural climatic changes bring. The glacier is an extraordinary sight to behold. Is one of the few in the world that is still advancing, with the ice despite the numerous modifications that the Earth's natural climatic changes bring. The glacier is an extraordinary sight to behold. And is an example of the beauty and power of nature that reminds us of the importance of protecting our environment. The Perito Moreno Glacier is a significant part of the southern Patagonian ice field, presently acknowledged as the world's third largest reserve of fresh water. The ice field covers approximately 16,0 square miles, 41,000 square kilometers, and is a significant watershed for southern Patagonia. The glacier is named after Francisco Moreno, an Argentine explorer who played a significant role in the region's survey B. Zero square miles, 41,000 square kilometers, and is a significant watershed for southern Patagonia. The glacier is named after Francisco Moreno, an Argentine explorer who played a significant role in the region's survey B. Between 1872 and 1877, the glacier's unique feature, its steady movement, is due to its own weight and the pressure exerted on it by the weight of the surrounding ice. It is an example of a surge-type glacier, which means had it experiences periods of more rapid movement interspersed with periods of stability. When it advances, it can move forward at a rate of up to 2 meters per day, or around 700 meters per year. I Had it experiences periods of more rapid movement interspersed with periods of stability. When it advances, it can move forward at a rate of up to 2 meters per day, or around 700 meters per year. I. Contrast, when it is not advancing, the glacier's movement is almost imperceptible. Perito Moreno is 30 kilometers long and has a surface area of 250 square kilometers, the same area as Buenos Aires. The glacier's front wall stands at 80 meters, 262 feet, high, with two-thirds of it submerged beneath lac. Argentino's turquoise waters. As the glacier advances, the front wall pushes forward, creating an ice dam that impedes the flow of the Brazo Rico of Argentina's Lake Argentino. The obstruction leads Argentino's turquoise waters. As the glacier advances, the front wall pushes forward, creating an ice dam that impedes the flow of the Brazo Rico of Argentina's Lake Argentino. The obstruction leads to the lake level rising, which can cause the formation of ephemeral bridges, making the glacier one of the few in the world that can be easily accessed by travelers. The glacier's calving process occurs regularly, whereby the edge of the glacier breaks off, or calves, into the lake below, producing beautiful thunderous sounds. The resulting icebergs can be up to 70 meters in height, leading to the formation of floating ice masses that create a surreal landscape. 70 meters in height, leading to the formation of floating ice masses that create a surreal landscape. The glacier's location in a national park guarantees minimal human interference and provides a protected habitat for local wildlife, including Patagonian foxes, condors, guanaco, Andean deer, and ku. Ours. Visitors may be lucky enough to witness one of these majestic creatures during their visit. The park scenery is also stunning, with valleys, lakes, rivers, and mountains to admire while explore. Ours. 
visitors may be lucky enough to witness one of these majestic creatures during their visit. The park scenery is also stunning, with valleys, lakes, rivers, and mountains to admire while explore. In the region The Perito Moreno Glacier has become an increasingly popular destination for tourists worldwide, and for good reason. A visit during Argentina's summer months, November to March, offers a high probab. Lydia of witnessing the glacier's calving process, which provides a spectacular visual and auditory display. During the winter, the glacier's uninterrupted white surface contrasts with the blue sky, p. Lydia of witnessing the glacier's calving process, which provides a spectacular visual and auditory display. During the winter, the glacier's uninterrupted white surface contrasts with the blue sky, p. Providing oh, a peaceful and serene ambience. To experience the glacier up close, visitors have the option of taking a boat ride, where they can observe the icebergs and enjoy the imposing scenery. Adventurous visitors can also go ice trekking o. Oh. The glacier, accompanied by expert guides. Skilled ice climbers can take on the challenge of climbing the glacier's impressive front wall, an unforgettable experience that requires preparation and sea. The glacier, accompanied by expert guides. Skilled ice climbers can take on the challenge of climbing the glacier's impressive front wall, an unforgettable experience that requires preparation and sea. Yushin the Perido Moreno Glacier is an ever-changing environment and a reminder of the Earth's natural cycles and our responsibility towards safeguarding them. The glacier's movements and the changing clima. E conditions that impact it underscore the delicate balance of nature and humanity's impact. It is increasingly essential to work towards a sustainable future and to protect and conserve the globes. E conditions that impact it underscore the delicate balance of nature and humanity's impact. It is increasingly essential to work towards a sustainable future and to protect and conserve the globes. Atural and Cultural Heritage A visit to the Perito Moreno Glacier is an excellent way to connect with nature and take a break from the fast-paced chaos of daily life. It is a journey that brings visitors closer to the essence of Life, the beauty of creation, and the importance of responsible tourism. Los Glaciares National Park, where Perito Moreno is located, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site that provides plenty of opportunity. Life, the beauty of creation, and the importance of responsible tourism. Los Glaciares National Park, where Perito Moreno is located, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site that provides plenty of opportunity. IEs for exploration, hiking, sightseeing, and relaxation. The park's terrain is varied, from rocky mountains to deep blue lakes, providing visitors with an exceptional outdoor experience. The hiking trails cater to various needs, from leisurely walks to cha. Lenging tracks, and the views are nothing short of magnificent. The area has a rich history, with remnants of ancient indigenous tribes that inhabited the region, adding to the park's cultural signify. Lenging tracks, and the views are nothing short of magnificent. The area has a rich history, with remnants of ancient indigenous tribes that inhabited the region, adding to the park's cultural signify. Ants. Local guides are available to provide insights into the park's history and geography, making the experience more rewarding and educational. For those who prefer a more relaxing experience, the park has several lodges that offer comfortable accommodation and a peaceful ambience in nature's midst. The lodges cater to different budgets and provide services that prioritize sustainability and environmental conservation. Visitors can enjoy local cuisine, participate in cultural activities, and learn about the park's flora and fauna. 
Revive services that prioritize sustainability and environmental conservation. Visitors can enjoy local cuisine, participate in cultural activities, and learn about the park's flora and fauna. Reaching the Perito Moreno Glacier is relatively easy, with El Calafate Town, located 80 kilometers away, serving as the main hub for visitors. El Calafate has an airport that connects to Buenos Aires and S. Rural buses and private cars ferry visitors to the park. The town has plenty of services, including restaurants, travel agencies, supermarkets, and souvenir shops, making it convenient for visitors to Rural buses and private cars ferry visitors to the park. The town has plenty of services, including restaurants, travel agencies, supermarkets, and souvenir shops, making it convenient for visitors to Plan their itinerary. In essence, Perito Moreno Glacier is a moving landscape that exemplifies nature's power and beauty. Its movements, sounds, and scale inspire awe and wonder, reminding us of the importance of environment. No conservation and sustainability. The glacier is a destination that offers visitors a unique experience that is both entertaining and educational. A trip to the glacier is a chance to unplug, con. No conservation and sustainability. The glacier is a destination that offers visitors a unique experience that is both entertaining and educational. A trip to the glacier is a chance to unplug, con. Act with nature and marvel at one of the world's most beautiful natural wonders. The Perito Moreno Glacier also serves as a scientific resource for glaciologists and those studying climate change. The glacier's advanced movement and retreat patterns provide valuable data for Unde. Standing changes in the Earth's climate over time. Scientists are increasingly concerned about the effect of human activities on the planet's environment, and the Perito Moreno Glacier's study plays. Standing changes in the Earth's climate over time. Scientists are increasingly concerned about the effect of human activities on the planet's environment, and the Perito Moreno Glacier's study plays. Crucial role in understanding the urgency of taking immediate and decisive actions to curb the adverse impact of human activities on nature. North American Population and Demographics North America is a vast continent with a population of over 579 million people. The continent has over 20 countries, with Canada, the United States, and Mexico being the most populous. The population of North America is characterized by its diversity, with people of different races, ethnicities, cultures, and languages living together. The demographics of North America have been changing rapidly. Of North America is characterized by its diversity, with people of different races, ethnicities, cultures, and languages living together. The demographics of North America have been changing rapidly. Bear the years, with significant implications for the continent's social, economic, and political landscape. Population Growth and Trends The population of North America has been growing steadily over the years. In 1950, the population of the continent was approximately 171 million, whereas in 2021, it stands at over 579 million. This represents a growth rate of over 238% over six decades. The population growth rate has, However, been slowing down in recent years, with the rate of growth dropping from 1.2% in 2015 to 0.97% in 2021. It presents a growth rate of over 238% over six decades. The population growth rate has, however, been slowing down in recent years, with the rate of growth dropping from 1.2% in 2015 to 0.97% in 2021. 
this is attributed to declining birth rates and aging populations in some countries. Canada has a population of about 38 million people, up from 31 million in 2005. The country has a population growth rate of 0.9%, with 80% of the population living in urban areas. The United States I. The third most populous country globally, with a population of over 330 million people. The country has a population growth rate of 0.6%, with over 80% of the population living in urban areas. The third most populous country globally, with a population of over 330 million people. The country has a population growth rate of 0.6%, with over 80% of the population living in urban areas. Mexico is the second most populous country in North America, with a population of about 130 million people. The country's population growth rate is 1.05%, with over 80% of the population living in UR. And areas. And areas. Demographics. The demographics of North America are diverse, with people of different cultures, ethnicities, religions, and languages living together. Some of the common demographic trends in North America include An aging population, a growing immigrant population, and a decline in birth rates. An aging population, a growing immigrant population, and a decline in birth rates. Aging population The population of North America is aging, with people age 65 and above constituting an increasing proportion of the population. This is attributed to declining birth rates and improved health care, W. It has led to longer life expectancies. In the United States, for example, the proportion of people aged 65 and above is projected to increase from 16% in 2018 to 23% in 2060. Similarly, Canada's AG IC has led to longer life expectancies. In the United States, for example, the proportion of people aged 65 and above is projected to increase from 16% in 2018 to 23% in 2060. Similarly, Canada's AG Ing population is projected to increase from 17.2% in 2020 to 22.7% in 2040. The aging population poses challenges for North America's social, economic, and political systems. For instance, an aging population puts additional strain on healthcare systems, pensions, and social welfare programs. It also affects labor markets and productivity, as older people are less likely to participate in the labor force. Welfare programs. It also affects labor markets and productivity, as older people are less likely to participate in the labor force. Immigrant population. North America has a large immigrant population with people from various countries and regions of the world immigrating to the continent for various reasons. The United States is home to over 44 mil. On immigrants, making it the country with the largest immigrant population globally. Canada is also a top destination for immigrants, with over 21% of its population being foreign-born. Mexico has a On immigrants, making it the country with the largest immigrant population globally. Canada is also a top destination for immigrants, with over 21% of its population being foreign-born. Mexico has a significant number of immigrants, with over 1 million immigrants from the United States alone. The growing immigrant population has significant implications for North America's social, economic, and political landscape. Immigrants contribute to the continent's cultural diversity, boost product. 
productivity, and promote innovation. They also face challenges such as assimilation, language barriers, and discrimination. Biddy, and promote innovation. They also face challenges such as assimilation, language barriers, and discrimination. Declining birth rates. North America's birth rates have been declining over the years, with some countries experiencing negative population growth rates. This is attributed to factors such as access to contraception, delay. Deep parenthood and changing social norms. In the United States, for example, the fertility rate dropped to a record low of 1.64 births per woman in 2020, below the replacement level of 2.1 births per. Deep parenthood and changing social norms. In the United States, for example, the fertility rate dropped to a record low of 1.64 births per woman in 2020, below the replacement level of 2.1 births per. Oman. The declining birth rates have implications for North America's future population growth and economic development. A low birth rate means fewer potential workers, and there could be issues concerning Social Security, pensions, and health care. It could also lead to lower economic growth rates, as there will be fewer consumers and a smaller labor force. Social Security, pensions, and health care. It could also lead to lower economic growth rates, as there will be fewer consumers and a smaller labor force. Race and Ethnicity North America is a diverse continent with people of different races and ethnicities living together. In the United States, for instance, the population is predominantly white, accounting for about 60. Of the population, the black population makes up about 13%, while Hispanics Latinos make up about 18%. Asian Americans and Native Americans make up about 6% and 1% of the population, respectively. I. Of the population. The black population makes up about 13%, while Hispanics Latinos make up about 18%. Asian Americans and Native Americans make up about 6% and 1% of the population, respectively. I. Canada. The population is predominantly white, accounting for about 73.3% of the population. Visible minorities, which include people of Asian, African, and Latin American descent, make up about 26. The diverse demographics of North America have led to issues concerning race and ethnicity, such as discrimination, unequal opportunities, and social cohesion. These issues have triggered debates ABO. T. Affirmative Action, Immigration Policies, and Multiculturalism T. Affirmative Action, Immigration Policies, and Multiculturalism It is essential to consider the implications of changing demographics, as they have significant impacts on the social, economic, and political landscape of North America. For instance, a growing IMI. Ramp population presents opportunities for cultural enrichment, economic growth, and innovation. However, it also presents challenges concerning the integration of immigrants into the social fabric. Ramp population presents opportunities for cultural enrichment, economic growth, and innovation. However, it also presents challenges concerning the integration of immigrants into the social fabric. Language Barriers, and Discrimination Similarly, an aging population presents significant challenges regarding health care, social welfare, and pensions. It also affects labor markets and productivity. Governments should address these cha. Lenges through policies that promote healthy aging, encourage labor force participation among older adults, and strengthen social welfare programs. Lenges through policies that promote healthy aging, encourage labor force participation among older adults, 
and strengthen social welfare programs. Furthermore, declining birth rates indicate a need for policies that support family planning, parental leave, and child care. Policymakers should also address issues concerning gender equity, access, Winapatosi, a popular Andean mountain to climb. Winapatosi, a popular Andean mountain to climb. If you love climbing and outdoor adventures, Winapatosi is a must visit destination. Located in the Cordillera Real Range, in Bolivia, Winapatosi is one of the most popular mountains among Klim. Urus and Mountaineers the mountain attracts people from all over the world who come seeking the thrill of a challenging ascent and the opportunity to enjoy breathtaking views of the Andean landscape. Urus and Mountaineers The mountain attracts people from all over the world who come seeking the thrill of a challenging ascent and the opportunity to enjoy breathtaking views of the Andean landscape. Here is what you need to know about Huayna Potosi if you are planning a climb. Location and Geography Huayna Potosi is located in the Cordillera Real Range of the Andes Mountains, about 25 kilometers north of La Paz and 6 kilometers east of El Alto International Airport. The mountain is part of a pro. Acted area called the Huayna Potosi Natural Integrated Management Area, which encompasses over 64,000 hectares of Andean high-altitude ecosystems. Acted area called the Huayna Potosi Natural Integrated Management Area, which encompasses over 64,000 hectares of Andean high altitude ecosystems. The mountain is the third highest peak in Bolivia, with an elevation of 6,088 meters above sea level. The summit is accessible via different routes, with varying levels of difficulty, but all of them. Offer stunning views of the surrounding peaks, glaciers, and valleys. Offer stunning views of the surrounding peaks, glaciers, and valleys. Climbing Huayna Potosi Climbing Huayna Potosi is a challenging but rewarding experience that requires expertise, physical fitness, and acclimatization to the high altitude. The ascent typically takes two to three days, depth. Ning on the chosen route and the climber's pace. Here are some things to consider when planning your climb. Ning on the chosen route and the climber's pace. Here are some things to consider when planning your climb. First, it is essential to acclimate to high altitude properly. La Paz, Bolivia's capital city, is situated at an altitude of 3,650 meters, which can cause altitude sickness in people who are not acu. Tongue to such elevations. Therefore, it is recommended to spend a few days in La Paz before attempting to climb Huayna Potosi to allow your body to adjust to the altitude. Tongue to such elevations. Therefore, it is recommended to spend a few days in La Paz before attempting to climb Huayna Potosi to allow your body to adjust to the altitude. Second, it is highly recommended to climb Huayna Potosi with an experienced guide or a reputable mountaineering agency. The guide can provide essential knowledge, skills, and equipment, as well as N. Your your safety during the climb. There are several agencies and guides available in La Paz that offer guided tours to Huayna Potosi. Your your safety during the climb. There are several agencies and guides available in La Paz that offer guided tours to Huayna Potosi. Third, it is essential to choose the right route according to your level of experience and physical fitness. The normal route, also known as the French route, is the most popular and the easiest way. Oh, climb Huayna Potosi. It takes two to three days, depending on the climber's pace, and involves a glacier traverse steep snow slopes, and some rock scrambling. Oh, climb Huayna Potosi. It takes two to three days, 
depending on the climber's pace, and involves a glacier traverse, steep snow slopes, and some rock scrambling. The other routes, such as the Northwest Ridge and the direct via the southeast face, are more challenging and require advanced climbing skills and experience. These routes are longer and more technic. L. Involving steep ice and mixed terrain, rock climbing, and exposed ridges. L. Involving steep ice and mixed terrain, rock climbing, and exposed ridges. Fourth, it is crucial to pack the right gear and equipment for the climb. Winnipetosi's high altitude and extreme weather conditions require adequate clothing, footwear, gloves, and headwear. The R. Required equipment includes crampons, ice axe, harness, ropes, and helmet. Some of these items can be rented from the mountaineering agencies in La Paz. Required equipment includes crampons, ice axe, harness, ropes, and helmet. Some of these items can be rented from the mountaineering agencies in La Paz. Finally, it is essential to be aware of the potential risks and dangers of climbing Winnipetosi, such as avalanches, rockfalls, crevasses, and altitude sickness. The weather conditions can also cha. GE quickly, so it is important to keep an eye on the weather forecast and to be prepared for unexpected changes. GE quickly, so it is important to keep an eye on the weather forecast and to be prepared for unexpected changes. Despite the challenges and risks, climbing Winnipetosi is a unique and unforgettable experience that rewards climbers with stunning views of the Andean landscape and a sense of accomplishment and s. Satisfaction. Satisfaction. What to expect on the climb? The climb to Winnipetosi involves different stages and challenges, each providing a unique and exciting experience for climbers. Here is a brief overview of what to expect on the climb. Day 1 On the first day of the climb, climbers usually depart from La Paz early in the morning and drive to the base camp, located at an altitude of 4,700 meters above sea level. The base camp offers basic facilities such as tents, sleeping bags, and food and serves as a starting point for the ascent. Facilities such as tents, sleeping bags, and food and serves as a starting point for the ascent. After arriving at the base camp, climbers usually have some time to rest and acclimate to the altitude before starting the trek to the high camp. The trek to the high camp takes about four hours and involves hiking on rocky terrain and crossing streams. Involves hiking on rocky terrain and crossing streams. Upon arriving at the high camp, climbers set up tents and have dinner before going to sleep early to rest for the next day's ascent. Day 2 On the second day, Climbers wake up early in the morning, have breakfast, and start preparing for the ascent. The ascent to Winnipetosi's summit usually starts at midnight to avoid the sun's intense heat and to have a better chance of reaching the summit before the weather deteriorates. Heat and to have a better chance of reaching the summit before the weather deteriorates. The ascent involves climbing up steep snow slopes, crossing a glacier, and navigating rocky terrain. Climbers typically use crampons, ice axe, and ropes to ensure their safety during the climb. The A. Ascent takes about 8 to 10 hours, depending on the climber's pace and the route chosen. Ascent takes about 8 to 10 hours, depending on the climber's pace and the route chosen. Upon reaching the summit, climbers are rewarded with breathtaking views of the Andean landscape, including neighboring peaks, glaciers, and valleys. After taking some photos and enjoying the view, CL. 
MERS start the descent, which usually takes about four hours. MERS start the descent, which usually takes about four hours. The Nazca Lines, Mysterious Geoglyphs in the Desert The Nazca Lines, Mysterious Geoglyphs in the Desert Deep in the arid desert of southern Peru lies one of the world's greatest archaeological mysteries, the Nazca Lines. These enormous geoglyphs, carved into the ground over 2,000 years ago, have mischief. Ed experts for centuries Theories abound about their purpose, ranging from celestial calendars to religious rituals to extraterrestrial communication. In this article, we'll delve into the fashionati. Ed experts for centuries. Theories abound about their purpose, ranging from celestial calendars to religious rituals to extraterrestrial communication. In this article, we'll delve into the fashionati. G. History and Enduring Intrigue of the Nazca Lines The Nazca Lines are a series of large-scale geoglyphs etched into the dry desert floor. The designs are made by removing the reddish-brown iron oxide-coated pebbles that cover the surface of the Nazca. Desert and revealing the bright yellowish-white earth underneath. The shapes range from simple lines and geometric patterns to lifelike animals and humanoid figures, some of which are over 1,200 feet. Desert and revealing the bright yellowish white earth underneath. The shapes range from simple lines and geometric patterns to lifelike animals and humanoid figures, some of which are over 1,200 feet. Long The sheer size and complexity of these designs are awe-inspiring, and their longevity is equally impressive. The Nazca lines have withstood the test of time, surviving centuries of desert winds and are ins without eroding away. However, the most compelling aspect of these geoglyphs is their ambiguity regarding their purpose. Ins without eroding away. However, the most compelling aspect of these geoglyphs is their ambiguity regarding their purpose. The origins of the Nazca lines remain shrouded in mystery. Some researchers believe the designs had astronomical purposes, serving as a massive celestial calendar for the ancient Nazca people. Others speculate that they were used for religious rituals, perhaps as offerings to the gods or as pathways for spiritual journeys. Still, others propose that the Nazca lines were created as extraterrestria. Speculate that they were used for religious rituals, perhaps as offerings to the gods or as pathways for spiritual journeys. Still, others propose that the Nazca lines were created as extraterrestria. Communication, with the massive design serving as messages to visitors from other planets? Despite extensive research, there is no clear answer to what the Nazca lines were created for. However, some clues have been discovered over the years that provide some insight into the Nazca people. Motivations For example, excavations of Nazca tombs have revealed pottery and textiles bearing the same animal and abstract designs as the geoglyphs. This suggests that the Nazca lines may have ser. Motivations For example, Excavations of Nazca tombs have revealed pottery and textiles bearing the same animal and abstract designs as the geoglyphs. This suggests that the Nazca lines may have ser. Ed is a reflection of the Nazca people's culture, perhaps as a way to honor their gods and beliefs. The Nazca lines were only rediscovered by modern society in the 1920s when Peruvian archaeologist Toribio Mejia Zesp noticed them while hiking in the area. Since then, the Nazca lines have become a object of fascination for researchers and tourists alike. Their grandeur and enigmatic nature continue to captivate people worldwide. Object of fascination for researchers and tourists alike. 
their grandeur and enigmatic nature continue to captivate people worldwide. One of the challenges of studying the Nazca lines is their preservation. The designs are vulnerable to the elements, including heavy rain and wind erosion. Human activity around the area, such as the construction of nearby mines and highways, also poses a threat to the geoglyph's longevity. In 1996, a UNESCO World Heritage Site was established to protect the Nazca lines from further destruction. Construction of nearby mines and highways, also poses a threat to the geoglyph's longevity. In 1996, a UNESCO World Heritage Site was established to protect the Nazca lines from further destruction. Access to the Nazca lines themselves is restricted. Visitors can view the designs from a viewing tower or by taking a scenic flight over the desert. However, human interaction with the geoglyphs is s. Rickly limited to prevent damage. Researchers have made use of new technologies such as LIDAR, light detection and ranging, to map the entire area more accurately from the air. Rickley Limited to Prevent Damage Researchers have made use of new technologies such as LIDAR, light detection and ranging, to map the entire area more accurately from the air. In 2019, a group of researchers used drone technology to discover over 140 new geoglyphs in the Nazca Desert. These new designs, thought to be over 2,000 years old, include humanoid figures, birds, a. D. Snakes. This discovery highlights the ongoing mystery surrounding the Nazca lines and urges researchers to consider this area as an ongoing archaeological site. D. Snakes. This discovery highlights the ongoing mystery surrounding the Nazca lines and urges researchers to consider this area as an ongoing archaeological site. Studying the Nazca lines is not only a scientific pursuit but also a cultural one. The designs are a testament to the Nazca people's advanced knowledge of geometry and astronomy. They provide a window into the beliefs and values of this ancient civilization, despite the mystery surrounding their purpose. The Nazca lines remind us of the vastness and complexity of human history and the value of PR. into the beliefs and values of this ancient civilization, despite the mystery surrounding their purpose. The Nazca lines remind us of the vastness and complexity of human history and the value of PR. Serving our cultural heritage The Nazca lines are a testament to the ancient Nazca civilization's ability to create fantastical designs on a colossal scale. Despite the lack of agreement among researchers about their purpose, the Nazca lines are undoubtedly a remarkable feat of human engineering. For over two millennia, these geoglyphs have withstood the test of time, and their remarkable preservation is a source of wonder in. Nazca lines are undoubtedly a remarkable feat of human engineering. For over two millennia, these geoglyphs have withstood the test of time, and their remarkable preservation is a source of wonder in. Itself the preservation of the Nazca lines, however, is challenged by several factors. The geoglyphs are vulnerable to the elements, and human activity around the area also poses a threat. The construction F mines and highways around the area could lead to erosion and destruction of the geoglyphs. Fortunately, the establishment of a UNESCO World Heritage Site to protect the area and limit human interact. F mines and highways around the area could lead to erosion and destruction of the geoglyphs. Fortunately, the establishment of a UNESCO World Heritage Site to protect the area and limit human interact. I am with the designs aims to preserve the Nazca lines for generations to come. New technologies, such as LIDAR and drones, have revitalized the Nazca lines as an archaeologically significant site. Drone technology helped discover over 140 new geoglyphs, adding even more mystery. 
and intrigue to this already enigmatic area. Several theories about the design's purpose have been put forward, ranging from astronomical calendars to extraterrestrial communication. An intrigue to this already enigmatic area. Several theories about the design's purpose have been put forward, ranging from astronomical calendars to extraterrestrial communication. Although no clear answer to the Nazca line's purpose has been found, the design's overall significance should not be underestimated. They formed an essential part of the ancient Nazca civilizations. Culture, reflecting their beliefs, values, and artistic expression. Understanding the Nazca lines is not only a scientific endeavor but also a cultural one. They remind us of the richness and complexity. Culture, reflecting their beliefs, values, and artistic expression. Understanding the Nazca lines is not only a scientific endeavor but also a cultural one. They remind us of the richness and complexity. Why of our shared human history and the importance of preserving our artistic and cultural heritage? One of the most captivating aspects of the Nazca lines is the incredible precision with which they were created. Despite their massive size, the designs are incredibly accurate and symmetrical, Rivi. In the Nazca people's advanced knowledge of geometry and engineering, the line straightness and orientation suggest that the Nazca people used a sophisticated system of surveying and measurement T. In the Nazca people's advanced knowledge of geometry and engineering, the line straightness and orientation suggest that the Nazca people used a sophisticated system of surveying and measurement T. Create the designs, which would have been no small feat given the limited technology available to them. Another intriguing feature of the Nazca lines is their orientation towards specific points on the horizon. Some of the designs align with the winter solstice or the rising and setting of certain star. Indicating a connection to astronomical observations. This suggests that the Nazca people had an advanced understanding of the movement of celestial bodies and may have used the geoglyphs as a sort. Indicating a connection to astronomical observations. This suggests that the Nazca people had an advanced understanding of the movement of celestial bodies and may have used the geoglyphs as a sort. Of Astronomical Calendar The Brazilian Highlands, the Heart of Brazil The Brazilian Highlands, also known as the Brazilian Plateau, are a vast and expansive region located in the central part of Brazil. With an area of over 2 million square kilometers, the Brazilian High. Lens are considered one of the most important topographical features of the South American continent. The region is home to a multitude of diverse ecosystems, landscapes, and cultures, making it a Lens are considered one of the most important topographical features of the South American continent. The region is home to a multitude of diverse ecosystems, landscapes, and cultures, making it a ITAL hub for both environmental and cultural research. The Brazilian highlands are characterized by their high altitude, steep slopes, and rugged terrain. The region is made up of several smaller plateaus and mountain ranges that extend across several BR. Zillion states, including Goiás, Minas Gerais, and Sao Paulo. The highest mountain peak in the region is the Pico de Bandera which stands at an impressive 2,892 meters. Zillion states, including Goiás, Minas Gerais, and Sao Paulo. The highest mountain peak in the region is the Pico de Bandera, which stands at an impressive 2,892 meters. The Brazilian highlands are known for their immense biodiversity housing several unique flora and fauna species that are exclusive to the region. The region is also home to several natural wonders, including the breathtaking Chapada das Veadiras National Park. The park is famous for its beautiful waterfalls, 
crystal clear lakes, and expansive fields of wildflowers. It is also home to several N. Including the breathtaking Chapada das Veadiras National Park. The park is famous for its beautiful waterfalls, crystal clear lakes, and expansive fields of wildflowers. It is also home to several N. Angered animal species, including the jaguar and giant anteater. Beyond its natural biodiversity, the Brazilian highlands are also home to a rich cultural heritage. The region has served as a major cultural hub for indigenous peoples, Afro Brazilian communities, a d European immigrants alike. These diverse cultural influences have shaped the region's unique identity and have contributed to the wealth of traditions and customs that exist in the region today. D. European immigrants alike. These diverse cultural influences have shaped the region's unique identity and have contributed to the wealth of traditions and customs that exist in the region today. One of the most significant cultural influences in the region is that of the indigenous peoples. The Brazilian highlands have been inhabited by indigenous communities for thousands of years, and the I. Presence has had a profound impact on the region's cultural and ecological landscapes. These groups were historically nomadic hunter-gatherers who relied on the region's diverse biomes for their soar. Presence has had a profound impact on the region's cultural and ecological landscapes. These groups were historically nomadic hunter-gatherers who relied on the region's diverse biomes for their soar. Eval. Today, many indigenous communities in the region continue to practice traditional customs and maintain their distinct cultural identities. One notable example of indigenous tradition in the Brazilian highlands is the annual Coerup Festival. This festival is held by several indigenous communities in the region and is a celebration of life. And death. The festival is held to honor the spirits of the dead and to seek their protection for the upcoming year. The festival includes music, dance, and several other cultural performances, maki. And death. The festival is held to honor the spirits of the dead and to seek their protection for the upcoming year. The festival includes music, dance, and several other cultural performances, maki. G it a significant cultural event in the region. Another significant cultural influence in the region is that of the Afro-Brazilian communities. The Brazilian highlands have long been a significant hub for the African diaspora in Brazil, with many. Fro-Brazilian communities having settled in the region during the colonial period. These communities have contributed significantly to Brazil's rich cultural heritage, particularly in areas such as M. Fro-Brazilian communities having settled in the region during the colonial period. These communities have contributed significantly to Brazil's rich cultural heritage, particularly in areas such as M. Sick Dance and Cuisine One of the most significant cultural traditions within Afro-Brazilian communities in the Brazilian highlands is that of capoeira. Capoeira is a martial art that originated in Brazil during the Colony. El period and is a fusion of African dance and martial arts techniques. Today, Capoeira is a widespread cultural phenomenon in Brazil and is considered one of the most significant contributions that a El period and is a fusion of African dance and martial arts techniques. Today, capoeira is a widespread cultural phenomenon in Brazil and is considered one of the most significant contributions that a Ro Brazilian communities have made to Brazilian culture. Finally, European influence has also played a significant role in shaping the cultural identity of the Brazilian highlands. European immigrants have settled in the region since the colonial period, p. Particularly in areas such as Minas Gerais and Sao Paulo. These groups have contributed significantly to the region's culture, particularly in areas such as cuisine, music, and architecture. 
particularly in areas such as Minas Gerais and Sao Paulo. These groups have contributed significantly to the region's culture, particularly in areas such as cuisine, music, and architecture. One of the most notable contributions that European immigrants have made to the region is the presence of several colonial-era cities. These cities are known for their unique architectural styles, in looting Baroque and Rococo, and serve as a significant cultural and historical landmark in the region. One notable example is Ouro Preto, which was once at the center of Brazil's gold rush and is now looting Baroque and Rococo, and serve as a significant cultural and historical landmark in the region. One notable example is Ouro Preto, which was once at the center of Brazil's gold rush and is now recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. However, despite its significance to Brazil and South America, the Brazilian highlands are also vulnerable to several environmental threats. Deforestation, illegal wildlife poaching, and climate chan. E are all significant challenges facing the region and its complex ecosystems. E are all significant challenges facing the region and its complex ecosystems. Deforestation is particularly problematic in the region, as it can lead to soil erosion, loss of biodiversity, and habitat destruction. The Brazilian government has implemented several policies aimed at reducing deforestation, such as the soy moratorium, which prohibits the purchase of soybeans produced on illegally deforested land in the Brazilian Amazon. At reducing deforestation, such as the soy moratorium, which prohibits the purchase of soybeans produced on illegally deforested land in the Brazilian Amazon. Illegal wildlife poaching is also a significant threat to the region's biodiversity, particularly for endangered species such as the jaguar and giant anteater. Many of these animals are hunted for th. Ear skins, meat, or body parts, which are highly prized in traditional medicines and folk remedies. The Brazilian government has implemented several measures aimed at reducing illegal wildlife traffic. Ear skins, meat, or body parts, which are highly prized in traditional medicines and folk remedies. The Brazilian government has implemented several measures aimed at reducing illegal wildlife traffic. Ing, including the creation of specialized wildlife conservation units and increased law enforcement efforts. Climate change is also a significant challenge facing the Brazilian highlands, with rising temperatures and changing rainfall patterns threatening the region's delicate ecosystems. The region's diver. E-biomes are particularly sensitive to climate change, and scientists predict that rising temperatures and increased droughts may lead to significant biodiversity loss in the coming decades. E-biomes are particularly sensitive to climate change, and scientists predict that rising temperatures and increased droughts may lead to significant biodiversity loss in the coming decades. Despite these environmental challenges, the Brazilian highlands continue to be a vital and vibrant region in Brazil and South America. Its unique blend of natural beauty and cultural richness provide a significant hub for research, tourism, and cultural exploration. As such, it is essential to continue to protect and conserve the region's ecosystems and cultural heritage for future generations t. A significant hub for research, tourism, and cultural exploration. As such, it is essential to continue to protect and conserve the region's ecosystems and cultural heritage for future generations t. Enjoy! Efforts to protect the region's natural beauty and cultural heritage have been ongoing for several decades. Several organizations and institutions have partnered with the Brazilian government to implore meant conservation strategies that focus on sustainable development, education, and awareness-raising campaigns. 
meant conservation strategies that focus on sustainable development, education, and awareness raising campaigns. One such organization is the Brazilian Biodiversity Fund, which provides financial support to projects aimed at promoting biodiversity conservation and sustainable use of natural resources in Brazil. The organization has supported several initiatives in the Brazilian highlands, including the protection of endangered species, the restoration of degraded ecosystems, and the promotion of sustainable.